In this video, you will learn about basic sentiment analysis with Keras and TensorFlow. We will train a neural network model which will classify sentiments of text reviews as either positive or negative. We will have reviews and based on the reviews, model will predict whether it is positive or negative. We will use IMD reviews dataset. We can get it from Keras. It is already pre-processed that is uh, that is the text are already converted into numbers both train and test uh, set have 25,000 samples so first we are going to import some libraries that is numpy as in p and for visualization matplotlib and in the next step we are getting the imdb data set so we are importing this tensorflow.keras.data set from this we are importing imdb IMDB and now in the next line with the help of the helper function load underscore data we are loading the data set into two tuples the first one is x train and y train the second one is x test and the y test and here we are giving the limit the word limit so we are saying that we just want 10,000 words now what we are going to do is we are just uh, printing some samples here so from x train at this index number zero this is the sample and here 10,000 also means that we are loading only most common 10,000 words from the bag of words so there are many words but we are loading just the most common 10,000 words and then what we are doing here is uh, we are uh, uh, so this is uh, this is a text review but each word is converted into numerical form so this is the first sentence but each word so for example let's say uh, you have this uh, sentence my name is something so those each of words like my name is all of them are represented by numbers so this is a one review but each word is converted into numbers what you see here is 1 14 22 uh, 16 etc are all words that have been converted into numbers each word is encoded by a numerical value because neural network don't understand text data so we have to convert this text into numbers and now here we will print the labels so we have this label here one and one represent positives and zero will be negative we can define the target value so here we have this class under names variables and here we have two classes negative and positive then we are also getting the index of each word for that first we are making one variable word index and from this imd dot uh, from imd we are getting this get underscore word index and let, let's say we want to get the index number of this word hello so the index number of this word is 4822 and we can also find for anything else let's say hi the index number of this word is 6593 now since all these reviews are in numeric form we want to decode it we want to actually see the actual text we don't want to see this numbers because we are not able to interpret it now we want to see the actual text of this review for that we are writing one uh, function and this function is decode it will take the review and then it will run a for loop on that and then it will uh, print the actual text of that a review uh, so before that what we are doing is we are uh, doing the reversing of the words that we have in this word index and then when we call this function decode x underscore train at this index number zero so here also you will see we have this x train zero here you have seen the numbers here but now you will see the actual text here but these texts are not in the same sequence that is why it is not making sense the as you without themselves etc and there is one more problem that we need to overcome before we start training a neural network uh, and what is that our reviews are of not same length we cannot pass it to the neural network we need to first convert the text to same length so some of the reviews might be short some of the reviews might be long we won't be able to pass that to our model and that is why we need to convert all the reviews into same length and if you see here I am printing the length of some of the reviews and here you will see it says that 
the review at this index number 0 is of length 218 second is 189 third is 68 and so on and to overcome this problem we will use padding now padding will help us uh, to get rid of this uh, we will use one word to each sentence which will not change the meaning of sentence but will make each sentence of same length let's say we find the number for the word uh, let's say we find the number for the word uh, the, the so if I do here let me go here and instead of high the is one uh, so what we will do here we will uh, import this pad sequences and then we will do this padding in x train and x train x test so we are calling this x train here then we are calling this function pad sequence and we are saying that if the length is of uh, and we are saying that uh, if the length is not same then you add the that is the number one to each of the sequences and the maximum length will be 256 and padding is equal to post that means you have to add this at the end of the sentence not in the beginning of the sentence and you have you have to do this for both train and test and now if you call this show underscore length function that we called above here and here you will see we had different lengths of the sentences or the reviews but now we have all the reviews of same sentences because we are saying that we want the maximum length to be 256 now if i do this uh, x of train so here you will see the as you with etc and now here you will notice that after this statement heartfelt film want and we are having the 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 everywhere so we are having this everywhere because we are making sure that the sentence or the text size is 256 and if there is some shortfall of text then we will or uh, we will fill those words with this the here and that is why you are seeing the here so we are with this help with the help of this we are making sure that each text is of same size that is 256 and once we have this now the next step is to train the model now we are going to train our model so let's say we are defining this model here object model and then we are call, calling the class sequential then our first parameter is embedding and this is 10,000 by 16 uh, so 10,000 is nothing but the vocabulary size and 16 is how many features we want to learn we can change it to other numbers as well then we have this global average pooling 1d global it uh, this will convert our feature representation of 10,000 by 16 dimension vector to a 16 dimension vector for each batch then it can be fit into a dense layer then we have this act, uh, the dense layer activation is value and then we have this another dense layer and the activation is sigmoid and this this one is this is our output layer activation is sigmoid because we have two classes negative and positive that is binary outcome now let's compile the model so we are compiling the model here and we are defining the optimizer as adam loss is binary cross entropy because we have two categories positive and negative and matrix is going to be accuracy and then we are calling here model dot summary you will see here and this will give us the total number of parameters total trainable parameters non trainable parameters and now here we are calling this uh, we are defining this one callback function this we can actually avoid uh, i mean we can skip that and then we are making the predictions and then we are doing the evaluations so here we will, you will see the training accuracy is going high and high but the validation accuracy is going low and here also you will see the we are testing this evaluating this model on the x test and here we are getting the accuracy 87 percent 87.6 then we are making some predictions and saving in this variable prediction and then we are checking whether the prediction is correct or not now we are making predictions and we are saving in this object prediction and then we are just printing the predictions here so this is negative prediction here and this is nothing but just one of the uh, samples from our x test and we are seeing that the sample is uh, the wonder own as is by sequence i 
so this is not making sense because the text are not in the proper order this is how you can do the basic sentiment analysis in tensorflow using this imdb reviews data set or on this imdb reviews data set i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching